Hi everyone, I'm Julie from Julie's Everything Treasures and welcome. It's Monday and I'm here to do my Thrift Haul Monday. So welcome to that. If you haven't seen it before, this is where I have thrift items that I've got from the thrift store and I'm going to show you them, why I picked them, what I would do with them and uh, if what you could do with them. Hey Sandra, how are you doing? So I am going to go through those in a minute. I'm just going to say quickly that thanks for uh, being there supporting me for our last week as it was a little bit of a tough personal week for my family and I and uh, but this week I am doing a little better and we're going to get trying back to get normal again so hey Megan how you doing thank you that's so sweet of you so what I'm going to do is, uh, while you're up here, I'm going to show you the things that I got from the thrift store and what I would like to do with them and we'll go through each of them and then at the end I'll pick up one or two items and we'll get them painted so you can see what I do. So we'll start with this one because it's right in front of me, it's huge and it's glass and it's I believe a candy, little candy jar. But this is not a little candy jar. It's heavy and it's big. So this is a huge candy jar that probably Sandra would love a big candy jar, right? <laughs> so hi Eli, how are you doing? So the story with this is kind of funny. I got this from someone gave it to me and said do what you want with it. So that was really nice of her and I gave her a little gift to say thank you. But ironically, a few months ago, my husband said he'd like a glass candy jar and he looked online and he found one and it was on the island. It was around $40, I think, $20, $40, something like that. It wasn't cheap. It was very pretty, very cute. And he got his mom to pick it up for him and um, she did. And then when we eventually met up with her one day visiting, she gave us a candy jar and it was tiny, it was little. Um, it was cute, it was nice, but for the price we're like, oh, Mm. And she's like, yeah, I didn't know if to get it or not, but you wanted it, so I got it. So then I then, a week later, went to the thrift store and saw a nice candy jar. And I picked it up and it was a bit bigger. And I said to uh, my husband, well, now we can choose. We have two. Well, now I've been gifted this one and this one's huge. So now we have three candy jars. So I'm not quite sure which one we're going to pick for our home and what we're going to do. But now we have three, so I will be putting two for sale and keeping one for our own home. So we'll see what happens on that. So there you go, that's the one. Let's get it out of the way. And go to this item. And this is, uh, looks like kind of a plant holder. And it looks wood, but it actually isn't, it's plastic. So it needs a good clean up and what I would actually do with this and what I think I'll do, not today, but uh, sometime next week. I'm going to try, because I've never tried it before and I just ordered some milk paint and I think I'm going to try that on this. I think this will be perfect to see how milk paint goes on this and that's what I'll be doing. So yeah, hope to be doing that soon. So there we go. Doing milk paint on that one in a couple of weeks. So that's what I'll probably do with that. But yeah. Right, next item is a basket and this has actually been painted before, if you can see, probably in the 90s. And I'm going to go over it with a dry brush with a white, I'll just dry brush it, but if you can tell generally when things were painted or what colours they choose, but not only the colours, because the green is quite in right now, it's not out of fashion, but it looks like they sponge painted it and sponge painting was definitely the early 90s I remember those days so that's what happened there so on this one I'd probably just dry brush white and uh, maybe put it a plant in it that kind of thing I think that would work for that one so that's what I'd do with that but I'm not doing that one today I got actually in that basket was quite a few of these and if you are ever just given these or have them, you can get them free or very, very cheap. You may not need it right now, but always pick them up for fall and for Christmas because you're always looking for them. Perfect fill-in decor in the winter time. And you can usually get them cheaper through the spring and summer than you can in the winter. Um, so if you ever get the chance to grab some, always grab some. So glad they came in the basket. 
another thing that came in the basket is this so I'm not quite sure with this it's probably something Christmassy but it's a very lime green so it's not exactly a Christmas item I would use but we'll see what I think I would use this for I'd probably keep it and for any crafting I do and I need some wire I would probably pull it apart and use it for wire just doing some maybe some floral stuff I think that would be perfect for this so there you go that's what I would do with that and I'm just going to pick up I just knocked something over so I'm just going to pick it up a second uh, all right next item I have this little silver tray and I'm going to see if it's got any marks on it to see if it's real or not real silver hmm I can't see any marks usually they're on the bottom am I really yeah I'm glaring you sorry guys um so I'll have a look later if there's any marks see if it's real silver um probably do a whitewash on this and they sell pretty quick and I do a whitewash put some candles on some decor on especially springtime if you put a nest bird's nest on they sell really good in spring for especially Easter which is just past but yeah that's what I would do some, with something like that put uh, three candles on it and a little decor around and just paint it up there you go not going to do that one today either but let's see what else we have this you you cannot go wrong with these you can decorate them you can put molds on them uh, the air dry clay you can paint them you can do all kinds of things you can put stencils on you can put stamps on all things you can do and also to be honest the rustic look you can just leave them as is especially if you put them outside and um, through the fall or winter and they get that nice white and green patina on them and they look nice so anytime I can pick up a terracotta pot for next to nothing I will always do that so there you go won't be painting that today but that one I did pick up quite easily because I love these now this one I will definitely be painting again not today but I will be painting this um, I think I might go with a, like a minty green on this one I think it's a nice shape be great with some flowers or a plant or something in here and paint that up not necessarily white maybe a color but not blue so there that's what I would do with this one now this one I'm not sure if I'm going to do this one today or not but it's a great shape it's got the handles it's got the lid you know it's great shape and this one painted white with um, the crockery stamp on that sells so easily you can put a little bit of an antique glaze on it too to make it older and every time I do that anything that has a lid with a handle paint it white put glaze on crockery stamp on it and it'll sell straight away so that's perfect shaped anytime I pick up anything this shape I'll, I'll always grab this so we'll see if I do that today or not but we'll see all right and then here if I can reach these there's three of them they go together so let's see if I can get it to go in together because they go I think in a if I can get it right they go and they make a picture so if I can grab it there you go there's the picture but surprise surprise if you turn it around there's actually a picture on this side too so I prefer the farmhouse kind of looking picture myself rather than the moon and the sun and the star so I like this side better myself and I think I'll just paint this one up maybe a little lighter color a little white or cream and then put some antique glaze or wax in there and just freshen it up a little and that would be ready to go it's had this in it which obviously I'm going to get rid of but just indicating that you could put little candles in and that is cute so there you go that's for that one move it out of the way oops and here this one's a bit bigger but let's get going on this one this here 
even got a sticker on I've got to pull off but it's if you can see it's a mail organizer with drawers and uh, that kind of thing and I think I'd paint it up distress it wet distress it antique it and I'd maybe try to put some holes in the back because I think these old well it's not old it's not really old at all but these mail holders are good for actually putting cell phone chargers or iPad chargers so if you can put a hole in the back and put your charger through you could then put your cell phone in and charge them up so I think I'm going to try and do that with this one but again not today so I have this one here which is so cute and I think I'm going to paint this one today that's cute I have another one here this one's cute too I like the way it is as is but I think I may paint this one too and also the last thing I'm going to paint today and pull that off is this uh, this is an adorable little frame I'm not going to keep the glass I'm not going to keep the picture I'm got two ideas for what I'm going to use this frame for I have uh, a project coming up in the very near future that I'll be showing you so I may paint this up ready for that project because it would be perfect or I a couple of weeks ago did a um, I had quite a few frames all different sizes and I put them together to make one display and this would also be ideal for that um, I can't show you what I did with it because it's already sold but it went down really well I had a bigger frame and in between the frames I put um, burlap and then I had a smaller frame inside and between those two frames I put some music paper and then in the little tiny frame there was a silhouette of um, an old of an old-fashioned lady a Victorian lady and it was all painted the frames painted white they were antique and it was really nice so and it sold straight away so I could also use this would be perfect for that as well so I'm going to paint it up and have it ready for what I think I may be using it for so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you down so you can see the painting going on and uh, let's go. It's really hot in here so I'm sorry if I'm going to start looking like my hair's from the 80s but I haven't been in my craft room for I would say a week now and the weather has changed and I came in today to get set up to do this and I thought oh my god goodness how hot is it in here so I've got a fan going I don't know if you can hear the fan but uh, I have a fan going and oh it's hot it really is hot so I'm like just oh my goodness so my hair's gonna either get really really like 80s style <laughs> or I'm not sure what it's gonna do anyway let's get painting on this and I will try and chat to you at the same time so let's kind of put you a little bit back so you can see me but also that you can see what I'm doing too so I can say hello from here and also you can see me right <laughs> okay I'm going to use some white chalk paint that's what I tend to use quite a bit as you know and I'll put it here so that you're not staring at the actual paint part and let's get going on painting this because I'm thinking of painting this white and then I'll probably yeah I'll definitely need at least two coats on it um, but what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put a stamp on it so what I'm wondering is whether to have uh, a crockery stamp on it or even what I think would look cute is I have those stamps that are the knobs I'll show you after and I think they will look adorable on this so we'll see about that see if that's a good size so what do you think the doorknob um, stamps or shall I use the crockery stamp anyway let's get it painted up as I say you can tell it's going to need two coats but that's okay we'll put it to one side while it's dry and see if we can put the second coat on in a minute so how is everyone doing I had an amazing Mother's Day yesterday the weather was beautiful and um, um, 
my stepsons gave me flowers I was spoiled and then we went over to my daughter's my youngest daughter's place and she made crepes and my grandchildren oh they're so adorable they gave me a present and we were playing on the uh, patio it was just such a beautiful day beautiful so that was adorable and then went over to uh, my stepmother's on uh, my husband's side and we went over and visited with her and gave her a card and we had wine on her patio it was just a beautiful day it was just amazing i'm just so happy so thankful that my family just made it such an amazing day anyway i'm just going to move that out of the way and get this one painted up so what did everyone else do for mother's day anything in particular is there any mums mums of fur babies any mums step mums foster mums anything on right now and what did you get up to yesterday so this one i'm just going to paint up again it is super cute but unfortunately anything that's too shiny just doesn't sell very well right now so it's a little shame to kind of get rid of the cutesy part of this but also it will do better with a different paint on it so that's why i'm painting this one hey kathy how you doing nice to see you on so we're painting up some of the thrift store items i found and that's what we're doing right now so if you pop on say hello maybe in the comments and if anybody watching on replay please say hello you know and um put in a hashtag um hashtag replay if you're watching on replay and then i know that you've seen it and i can see who's been watching it's been great and if you're watching and you want to uh, like or comment or even share that would be amazing thank you to grow my business anyway let's get going on painting this one I'm, gonna, I'm just painting on top of this i've already cleaned it off make sure you clean off any items that you get from the thrift store and be especially careful right now you know you want to kind of spray them lysol them you, you know really put them outside even for a couple of days you know make sure you really take care of your health and you know things like that that you get from any store not just a thrift store right but any store just you know just give it a bit of a spray anyway i'm just making sure i get in all the crevices with the paint and I'm knocking down the phone so that you can't see anything because I was tapping too heavily there. Sorry guys, did I give you a headache? My tripod is on the way, I promise you it's on the way. But with the situation right now, obviously anything that's not food or medical related, Amazon, it's taken a little longer than it used to for delivery. So hopefully it'll come this week, but it's on its way. I'm not too worried about the paint going on the glass as I say I'm just using the frame so I just kept it in there to do the actual paint just put it up here and as it is just get the paint in all the crevices and it'll probably also take two coats to do this that's okay we can do that right So I'm going to just keep going around here. Can you see that I'm doing this? Yeah. And I'm getting paint everywhere, but that's okay. That's usual. My mom always watches uh, my videos and laughs at how much paint I get on myself. Just getting in the corners, in the crevices. covering it up so that I can do the next part. What I think I'll do on this one is put a glaze on it once it's nice and white. Put a glaze into the crevices to bring out the uh, detail because it's it is a pretty frame. So I'm just 
try and make sure I get all the paint in. It's not wanting to go in all the detail and I don't want to tap too hard because I don't want to knock you guys over again. It's not good, is it, if I keep knocking you over? Anyway. Don't mean to. I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> Just every time I do a live, I end up knocking you guys over. One way or another, you fall over. Well, that's okay. My tripod is coming. It's, well, hopefully it's coming. I haven't heard anything. It's supposed to be on its way. Alright, so I am going to make some noise and unfortunately I'm going to be using my blow dryer which is hot. I'm sweating hot because it's hot here. It's beautiful weather. Unfortunately the weather's going to change a little bit tomorrow. But it's, it's this last weekend has been absolutely beautiful. So let's put this one to one side for a minute and bring these forward and put the second coat on. So anybody got any questions, please put them in the comments and I'm going to get going on putting the second coat on. might have to touch it up a little bit on the top where the blue is but that's covered nicely let's put this one here get the second coat on this one trouble with white it does take a few coats to get covered but that's all right this one's not as shiny so it won't take as much to cover oh itchy nose it's, it's twitching What's that the sign of a twitchy nose other than probably allergies or hay fever, right? That's that time of year. And just do this bottom part and then I'll move that pot out of the way because I put it right in front of you guys so you can't see what I'm doing. Isn't that just clever of me? Oh, let's just get around the sides here, paint it up. this one out of the way and bring this one forward and I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a dry because it's still a little wet and get that second coat on. Let's do that shall we? let's get the second coat on because I'd like to get that dry so we can get some glaze on and get this pretty pattern popping for us so just bring it
a little more on this bottom part. And we'll get the glaze going on it when it's dry. So well, that was the backing, I guess. Put my paintbrush over here. And let's see if I can get these dry to get a stamp on them. I can do a stamp on this one. It's still a bit wet on the side. Hold on. I've got my ink here and for this one I think I'm going to be putting a crockery stamp on so I'm going to find one that's a good size for it. I think this one here is a good size for it. What do you think? Let's get it inked up and ready to put on. Just It's the IOD ink. I'm doing the stone grey. And I haven't used the ink for a little while actually, so I may need to just put a little ink in on the pad, just a little, just get it a little bit more juicy, because it's been a while, oh, a little bit in, just topping it up, as I say, it's the IOD ink, this is the stone grey, it's a permanent ink, and I just put it on my pad, and then I use my pad, to just press it down onto my IOD stamp, making it nice and juicy. And then put the cover on so it doesn't dry out, especially in this weather. When you've got something round, it's always good to maybe have some uh, a cloth or something to stop it rolling, or just be really kind of that you don't shift. Because once you've got the stamp down, you can't shift, you can't move. You just need to put it in place. So let's put it down, press the middle, and then press one side, doing the whole thing, getting it down. As I say, try not to shift, all right? And just press down with your hands all over the stamp, all the detail. You've got lots of writing on this one, so try and kind of take your time with it. 